So we can now express any positive integer, fraction, or mixed number in binary. We'll start our discussion on negative binary numbers soon, um, but most methods for turning positive binary numbers into negative binary numbers rely on binary addition. So let's do that first. Um, so first let me say a little something about doing math in binary. Um, so addition is addition no matter what number system you're working in. But what makes this a little bit less comfortable is that um, non-decimal systems are non-native to us. So we kind of have like an extra layer of conversion that we have to do in our minds in order to make sense of the math problems that we're doing. So here's what I mean by that. Um, in decimal, we've done this since we were very young. We know obviously that one plus one is equal to two. Um, but in binary, one plus one is equal to one zero. Um, and this is, we know by doing a conversion to binary that this is two, but we're just not used to seeing one plus one not equal to the numeral two. Okay, so um, it's it might be kind of handy for you actually to have some kind of a decoding table for you while you're starting these. And if we write out some binary numbers, zero, one, two, three, then we see very clearly that one zero is indeed equal to two. And then we feel comfortable and we can move on. But just looking at this, um, this is new and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but that's okay, we'll get there. Um, so let me just give you some basic rules to get you started. So the basics of binary addition. Um, the first one is that zero plus zero is equal to zero. That's pretty straightforward. We have that zero plus one is equal to one. We have that one plus zero is also equal to one, um, but this one's a little bit different. One plus one is actually zero carry the one. Um, so this, as you guys know from our decoder table here, is two, right? One plus one is indeed equal to two. In binary, that's one zero. Um, but another thing that's a little bit different about this is that already we had, um, we need another digit here. So when we're doing, um, when we're iterating through numerals in decimal, we don't need another digit until we pass the number nine. But here we're adding one plus one and we already need another digit to express two. So we're gonna end up with a lot more carries. Um, they happen earlier and they happen more often when we're doing binary arithmetic. Okay, so then the other one that might be helpful for you is what happens when we have one plus one plus one. So if we add three ones together, we have that the first two ones would give us zero carry the one. And if we added a one to that zero, this would give us one, one. So this is, we read this as zero carry the one, and we read this as one carry the one. Okay, and then we can double check at our decoder table that one plus one is equal to two, and that's one zero in binary and one plus one plus one is equal to three, and that's one one in binary. So we can check our work in decimal. Okay, so um, now that we have all these written out, we can refer back to these when we're starting to do some examples. So let's see some examples of binary addition. I'm gonna do actually four examples for you so you can see some different cases and how to handle them. Uh, so the first example, let's add one zero one one and one zero zero one. Okay, so we have um, two positive binary numbers. Well, they don't have any fractional component. So what we're gonna do is just like doing um, a decimal addition problem, we're just gonna stack them up. So I'm gonna go one zero one one plus one zero zero one. 
Great, and then I'm gonna add straight down using those binary um, addition rules that we just defined. So we have one plus one is zero, carry the one. And then we have one plus one is zero, carry the one. And one plus zeros, that's just one. And then we have one plus one is zero, carry the one. Okay, great, so we get one zero one zero zero as the result of our binary addition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check my work in decimal. So in binary, I had 1011. Um, if I convert that to decimal, that is decimal 11. And then I added to it 1001. If I convert that to decimal, that's equal to 9. So if I take 11 plus 9, I should get 20. So if I were to convert 20 back into binary, uh, the binary equivalent is 10100. And that is indeed what I got from my addition here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a check there. I checked my work in decimal. This I feel very comfortable with. I have a good intuitive sense for what this means. This one not so much, which is why I like to check my work. OK, great. So let's see um, another example. So in this second example, let's add 11101 to 1101. Okay, so this has a different number of digits as this guy. Um, just like I was were to do um, in addition in decimal, I'm going to stack these guys up. 1101 and just like in decimal, um, you want to basically write justify these numbers, right? So that means, um, in other words, you want to line up these numbers by the least significant bit. Okay, great. So once we've done that, so we set this up just like we were doing a problem in decimal, but they just happen to be in binary. Now I'm going to follow those rules of binary addition. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. And now I have that case where I have 1 plus 1 plus 1. So if you recall that these two ones added together would be 0, carry the 1. And then to that 0, I'm going to add this one here. So this is 1, carry the 1. And here I'm just left with another 0, carry the 1. OK, so again, let me um, check my work in decimal. So in binary, my numbers were 11101. And in decimal, if I were to convert that to decimal, that would give me 29. And I added to it 1101. If I converted that to decimal, that would give me 13. So if I add 29 plus 13, that should give me 42. Now, if I take then decimal number 42, and I convert it to binary, that gives me 101010. Zero, one, zero. And that is indeed what we got from our um, binary addition here. So I'm going to put a check. That's correct. I've double checked that in decimal, which is um, the number system that is my native number system I feel comfortable with. Um, and then I can verify my answer in binary. Um, personally, I can't just look at these num these binary numbers and recognize ex what their decimal equivalent is. So I always have to convert back and forth. Maybe if you do this enough, you'll be able to recognize um, some binary numbers, especially some the lower ones that you work with pretty often. But we have long strings of bits. Um, it can be difficult to know offhand exactly what those are just on inspection. Um, this time, we're going to add. 1111.011. One, 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 one. Okay, so this number, this binary number now has a fractional component. Um, and just a note about the nomenclature, usually we call this a decimal number, but in digital design, uh, we reserve the term decimal to mean base 10. So for dealing with numbers like this, I'll either say this has a fractional component or I'll call it a floating point binary number or floating point decimal number. Um, so I wanted to show you how we would add two binary numbers that do have a fractional component. So suppose we have this and we want to add 
another binary number in floating point form. So I'm going to stack these up just like I was doing um, an addition problem in decimal. 0, 1, 1. And um, I'm going to line up the decimal points. So in the previous example, we right justified these numbers, but here we're going to line up the decimal points because um, we, we want to make sure that our ones digit is going to line up just like we did in the previous example. The previous example didn't have a fractional component, and so now we're just going to line up our decimal points as if we were doing um, a regular addition problem in decimal. Okay, great. So we don't have an explicit digit right here, but we know intrinsically that this is going to be a, a zero. So that's great. We can just add this straight down, that one plus zero gives us one. One plus one is zero, carry the one. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. I'm just going to drop down my decimal point straight down. And now I have this case where 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry the 1. Because 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. I'm going to add a 1 to that 0, so I still have my carry 1. Then I have 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, but then add a 1 to that 0, so it's 1, carry the 1, and then I have just a 1, 0 left over. So here's the result of my binary addition in floating point form. Let me check this in decimal. So I'm going to check my work in decimal. The binary numbers If I convert in 1111.011 to decimal, um, that would give me the number 15.375. If I converted the number 101.11 to decimal, that would give me 5.75. So if I stack these up and add straight down, that gives me 21.125. If I took this decimal number and converted it back to binary, that would give me 10101.011. I'm sorry, 001. So um, after I do this addition problem in my native decimal and I get an answer that I feel confident with, then I can go back and convert that answer into in binary and then double check that this is equal to that. And then I've verified my answer. Okay, great. So now I want to show you one more example. Um, this example, let's add up more than just two numbers. So in this case, we're going to add 111.011 to 110.11 to 11. Okay, great, so we're gonna stack these up. We're gonna line up the decimal just like we did before. So let's do 111.011. Underneath that, I'll put 110.11. And then this last number doesn't have a fractional component, so I'll just put 11. I'm gonna add that decimal right there since this is um, in, an integer. Great, so I've stacked these up. I'm ready to add straight down. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put zeros here. You don't have to, but um, it'll if it just kind of keeps things lined up for you, you can. So now we add straight down. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. I'm going to drop down my decimal place just straight down as if I, same thing as what we're used to doing in decimal. Now we have 1 plus 1 is 0 carry the 1, but then I'm going to add a 1 to that 0. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 carry the 1. Now check out this case here. Um, we have 1 plus 1, and then we have another 1 plus 1. So if you imagine, 1 plus 1 is going to give us a 0 carry the 1. This 1 plus 1 is going to give us a 0 carry the 1. So effectively, what 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us 0 
carry two. So this is zero, carry the one, carry the one. So now we have the same case here, one plus one plus one plus one. These are my carry bits. These are the ones that were already in the problem. Um, so this is going to give me a zero, carry the two, two in binary is one zero, okay? Um, so I wanted to show you an example of how to handle this when we do add one plus one and one plus one. So you guys already saw that one plus one is zero, carry the one. So we basically just kind of split this into two parts. We do one plus one two times. Okay, great. So now we have our result um, in floating point form binary. So let's check this in decimal. Um, the way I did all these checks, I just went out, there are a lot of online um, converters, so you can, um, now that you know how to do all the conversions by hand, don't waste your time when you're double checking your work, just find one of those online converters and um, do it quickly. So in binary, our number is 111.011, if we converted that to decimal, that'd give us 7.375. The next number we added was 110.11. If we converted that to decimal, that would give us 6.75. And then 11 is just three in decimal. So if I stack these up, if I added them straight down, that would give me 17.125. Um, I feel very confident in this answer because um, it's in decimal and um, I feel like I can trust it. I didn't necessarily trust this answer here because um, this is a new process for me. It's in binary. I don't recognize this number. I don't know exactly what that decimal equivalent is. But if I do the addition problem in decimal and I convert back to binary, um, the conversion result I get is 10001.001. I confirm that this number is indeed equal to that number, and um, I'm checking my work, and I can feel confident in my answer.